Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, we tie up some loose ends around Flea Town and then set our sights further south. We've got a whole other settlement just across the river. Not to mention a second mine, a stray diamond shipment, a certain prisoner that we've been asked to recover, and so on. Though to be fair, I think a lot of that stuff we won't be getting into until future episodes. And then preparing for our push to the south. Fine. That said, first things first, let's grab everything that's not nailed down. I'm pretty sure I disarmed it, but you should have someone else test it and see. We've got a computer chip. Off to a good start. But we can live without the extra RPK. Might as well top off our med kits while we're at it. Presently in attendance. Live wire here. Twelve fifty. Seven fifty, two thousand dollars, not bad. And then we've got a whole boatload of random herbs scattered across the garden. We'll grab those real quick. We're basically just working our way up to the chair in the globe over there. Back. On my way. Then we'll probably pop over to the church, get that treasure hunt taken care of. See if we can get a face to face with Smiley, figure out his deal. And uh, maybe train up some guards. I don't think we max things out during our first Let's pass go. through. We've still got Camp Savant just north of Flea Town. Hmm? So it's only a matter of time before they send something our way. Hmm? Oh, yes. Seven fifty. There we go. Double intel. J8 and J10. Okay. And we do have one more thing here. I guess I forgot to save after I pinged it. We should take a closer look at this. Ooh, there we go. Intel for K9, Port Cacao Docks. Hello there. All right. That is going to be important because ideally I'd like to hit the docks by the end of this episode. Now we'll grab a seat. No luck, of course. Still way too close to the starting zone for that to be the right one. Alright, let's give that globe a spin. Trying to be quiet. On the decorative globe, there is a password panel hidden under Africa. It opens when you press Grand Chien. The default password is on the back of the panel. Let me see! Oh! Photos of nude girls. And there are pictures of me too. Hey! He told me I was the only one who had ever posed nude for him. Wow! Look at this one. She's so bendy. What are you doing? That is my private collection. Boo Boo! You told me I was the only one. Who are these girls? You know what? Never mind. I'm never speaking to you again! Honey, don't be like that. I forgot all about those old photos, I swear! I'll make it up to you. I'll buy you something nice. Fine, but I'm still not speaking to you. For the rest of the day! <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, you know what, that's fair. So it turns out it was, in fact, his porn stash. Uh, Though, uh, Meltdown good, has been see. asking for porn, so let's... Give it a gander. Let's see. Wow! What... Ten more halls like this, and I'll bet I'll be able to pay off half my student loans. Too real, MD. Too depressing, too real. Also, uh, I am going to take these, but it's just for the articles. Seriously, though, this this was actually a pretty good trade-off for us. We just lost like five hundred dollars worth of loyalty in exchange for. 
$2,700 worth of diamonds and three skill books. Plus one leadership obviously goes to Rat. Plus one marksmanship goes to Kalina. But the dex will actually go to Mouse, so we can push her further towards Max. I am stronger and better than ever. It's faster if we just have her try to tutor Kalina, as opposed to Kalina reading all the magazines herself. We do need to have Rhett run a leadership seminar, though, for Mouse and MD. Well, what do you know? I think I'm getting better at this. I mean, I'd like to do Livewire eventually, too. That way she can tutor people up in mechanics, but... For now, I think Agility and Dex are our priority, and eventually Medic as well. Maybe Explosives, but that's admittedly a luxury. Let's get a Militia going, though I feel like that might be a bit redundant with... Boss Blobear's gang. Actually, scratch that. We can't do any operations here. Interesting. Okay, well that saves us some time. We'll just head north back to Father Tucker. Oh, actually no. Let's um let's pay Lolly a quick visit. We've got some diamonds to burn, so might as well see what else he's got for us. I'm here. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I can't imagine the magazine stands restocked already. We're moving? We're moving. Found a chair, but no necklace, eh? Don't get discouraged. I ain't discouraged. You'll know when I get discouraged. Stuff usually blows up. I'm telling you, the necklace is inside the lining of one of those chairs. Keep looking. Find the diamond necklace. Bring it to me, and I'll give you a good price for it. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep looking. Not what I'm here for, though. I know what's cooking. Ooh, okay. I was hoping you'd have something to say about Blospo Bear's business, but, um... What can you tell me about Smiley? I knew it! You are after the boy. You're not the only one. A group of smugglers went after his girl, and he killed one of them. They were ready to cut him down on the spot. Like a prince from a fairy tale. I don't blame the boy. The carnival queen from Pantagruel is quite a treat. He was about to get sliced into pieces, but Boss Blobert himself intervened and told the smugglers to get out. You should have seen their faces. And now comes the spicy part. The cheek is with Boss Blobert now. If you want to find her, Molly, I think is her name, then check Blobert's place down in Rimville. Be careful, though. The boss doesn't like trespassers. A captured princess! But what of the prince? Or, I mean, Smiley. As for the boy, my exquisite nose tells me my friend Father Tucker knows more about him than he lets on. Um, don't tell him I said so, though. Okay, so we've now been pointed towards Father Tooker by name, so that should be enough for a face-to-face -face with Smiley. And what the heck. Let's grab another couple of loot boxes while we're here. Just one tiny di It's been strongly advised that I keep buying these things until we've cycled through all of the possible results. At which point, we'll be able to tell, because the option will be grayed out. Oh, that's... You know, I have no idea what that is. Behold the mystery of the loot box. Care to try again? Not great, but also not terrible. We'll take it. Oh, this seems to be our promotional package, my friends. You pay one diamond, and you get back two. Fun. Okay, I guess I'll grab two more boxes, then. Well, that's, uh, you know, I'm not even sure how that even fit in there. Well, that's the mystery of the loot box for you. M1014, that's a... That's a combat shoddy? Whoa, damn, that cat scared the poop out of me. How did it even survive in there? 
Well, that's the mystery of the loot box. Could have just as easily been a dead cat, but he wasn't. Hey, Schrodinger's cat's no longer dead. Which, I guess, means I no longer want to shoot this guy in the face. Well, that's good. That's a step in the right direction. Progress of a sort. Also, I'm fairly certain we got a leadership book in there. Well, Lolly, I am completely tapped on diamonds, but I don't suppose you'd like to give me one last loot box for the road? Happily! Just one tiny diamond per loot box. Don't have any? Go buy some from Father Tucker. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, don't you also buy your diamonds from Father Tucker? For more than I do? You should go to my good friend Father Tucker in Labu. The holy man buys and sells diamond to support his hobby of saving the souls of the needy. Which is good, because those poor buggers are damn needy. And I'm proud to say that I'm contributing to his noble mission by helping him resell any gems he manages to find. Sure, sure, yeah. All right, well, I guess we're done here then. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, so we basically got a lens, an M1014, and a leadership book, plus two combat stems. Hard to say if that's really worth the $2,700 we essentially spent on it, but... Just got better. But I mean, I guess it's not awful. It's not... terrible. Still not much of a shotgun guy, but I can definitely see their value. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is higher damage, but also higher action point cost. Yeah, the Auto 5 Strength is low attack cost, whereas I guess the M1015 is higher damage and better long range accuracy? That's an interesting trade-off. It also it also has more mod slots. The Auto 5 only has two, but the M1014 has four slots. Interesting. I am going to have to give that some thought. Unfortunately, we're still pretty... We're still pretty light on parts. It is tempting to hand one off to one of our close combat characters, though. Or to hand them off as backup weapons for our snipers, just in case. I'll, uh, I'll poke at it a bit off screen. Now let's go pay Father Tooker a visit. See what he's so smiley about. Okay, we're here. I mean, at this particular sector and all. And you know what? There was also a magazine stand here, so we should see if they also restock. Which it looks like they the do. Fantastic. Want. Let's go grab it. Hoping for wisdom, but we'll take whatever we can get. Marksmanship. Yes, we'll take it. That'll go right to Kalena. Wait, let's just double check real quick. Yes, Kalena. Evil doers beware! I am stronger and better than ever! And while we're here, we will also start creating our first sector stash. For now, we'll just dump the stuff we don't really need to cart around with us. Uh, spare tools, crafting ingredients. And ideally, we'll pick up one or two additional recruits a little later down the line once we get that second mine. Who can act as runners, you know, carrying stuff back and forth between the stash and our main... Our main group.
Ah. Uh, no explosive pops this time, but we do have a full stack we can drop. Also nice that that doesn't actually use your pliers. Like, it doesn't degrade them. Okay, that's four more spaces to play with. That is almost manageable. I guess we're going. Oh, and look at that. That must be our treasure. Let's go. We can use this. But we should probably talk to Father Tooker about it first. Have you found out why this restless spirit was scratching the walls of the House of Blessed Spirits? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it turns out it was just some poor treasure hunter or another. Uh, apparently there's gold in your church, and I've got a map to it right here. Pretty sure it's that thing in the corner. Treasure? Really? Thank you for telling me. May God and the spirits bless you, my child. I will remove it at once and use it to help the poorest people of the town. Yeah, I'll bet. But you know what? Plus 20 loyalty is not bad. That's, um, 620 extra dollars a day. Which, honestly, will likely get us a whole lot more in the long run than, than actually getting that treasure would have. So, uh, now that we're friends, Father Tooker, you know, I've been hearing an awful lot about this guy named Smiley, and, uh, apparently you're the guy to talk to about his whereabouts. Since he killed the smuggler in the market, there have been many people searching for this young man. But I know nothing of his whereabouts. Perhaps someone else would know. I definitely don't. Huh. Okay. I mean, two people have explicitly pointed us towards him. What else could we possibly need? Walk in peace with God and his... I mean, I would... Oh, hey. Nice. Level up for Mouse. But, um, yeah, I mean, what else could we possibly need to get this guy to open up about Smiley? Oh, okay. Apparently we need to visit Pantagruel to get more information about how Molly and Smiley got themselves into this situation in the first place. Sector D7, that's way farther north than I really wanted to go. That's past... That's past Camp Savan and the refugee camp. But we'll, uh, we'll add it to the list. We'll get to it at some point. I'm just really trying to stay focused on the South for now. One thing at a time. If we start trying to do everything, we'll never get anything done. Regardless, though, still worth our time to come here. We got a solid bump on loyalty. We got a level up for Mouse. Who will pick up another melee perk, though. She does not have access to the strength tree yet. We're going to have to do a lot more strength training to get her access to some of those nicer melee perks. Though I suppose we could start stacking stealth perks. She's definitely qualified for all three tiers of that. Hmm. Actually, let's go for this one. Full body contact. That one grants 15 a blade of health every time she lands a melee hit. So definitely a good one to have. Especially in conjunction with hit and run, which we've already picked up. So we'll go with that one for now, and then we'll try to crank up strength so she can pick up at least as far as Sudden Strike. Though it would be nice if we could eventually get her up to True Strike. That's just going to take some work. Oh, and let's, let's get that injury taken care of. That'll also buy us time to shore up our militia for the inevitable attacks. Oh yeah, we've... We've only got four trained here right now. We need more than that. Though, first, let's get some other stuff going real quick. This task will not be a problem for me, and I will be honored to do it.
Yeah, yeah, let's do some quick repairs. I see a couple of things here we should really patch up. Good. This task will be easy for the brave. In fact, let's speed that up a bit. We'll tag Meltdown in too. And we will do some leadership training. For Mouse and MD. Like I said, the two characters who really need it. Mouse is going to be our primary agility and dexterity trainer. Actually, let's uh let's have Mouse do some quick scouting. I'll get it done. Might as well finish canvassing the area real quick. Hey, neat! I learned something new today. There we go. Now we can have her tag into the class. On it. Oh man, look at those skill pops. Incoming attack squads. One right for our location. The other one... Oh wow, from all the way over here. Interesting. Well, we don't really have to worry about either of these. They're both hitting fortified positions. We'll just let those auto-resolve. We've got more important things to do. But that does mean we need to expedite militia training. So let's get that going. MD pulled like 10 points of leadership there. So that should still make a slight difference. Let's expedite those repairs too. We'll tag... Live wire in. And we'll get Meltdown on... Hmm. Let's have Meltdown. Oh, wow, okay. I, I didn't really see Mouse being sturdier than Meltdown. Oh no, let's uh let's go strength. No, no, it's better to have Rat handle that. We'll do agility. Pretty much our whole crew needs agility, so we'll just tag them in as they I'm all into it. finish their respective tasks. Finish with my task. I'm going to take my 15 minute break now. Repairs are done. Let's get you two tagged in. And militia's done. Might. Well, that squad's right on top of us. Let's get that resolved. Decisive win. We outnumber them almost two to one. We'll just auto. Which nets us four promotions. No notable injuries. Max is out our loyalty with Flea Town. Not much in the way of loot, but we'll take it. We might have a use for those pants. Let's... Let's get one more round of militia training going. That'll max out this area. And uh, we will double check our inventory. So the high power, that's garbage. We can scrap that. The pants are in rough shape, but this is the type of thing I was still better than nothing. Home. Let me get my tools. Now we'll just wrap up that militia training and then I think we're ready to move on. I've actually lingered here slightly, slightly longer than I had originally planned to, but it's been, uh... Oh, right, those guys. Forgot about that. Ooh, and that's only a normal victory projection, too. So that means we're taking casualties. Or not. Okay. 
That is a resounding success on part of our militia. Fantastic. Nothing notable as far as the loot goes, but we'll we'll swing by there at some point. Take the choicer goods, break down everything else. Yeah, yeah, that leaves us in pretty good shape. Done. That was kind of easier than I thought it would be. Militia's done. Leadership pop on MD. Not a ton of gains on agility, but we did make some progress. Man, I would like to get back to exploring. We've got stuff to do, but... Okay, you know what? Let's push west. We left a skeleton crew on Mafumu's mine, so might as well... Might as well shore that up while we're here, and that'll give us more time for training. But this will be it for boat keeping. We'll, uh, we'll definitely get back to exploring and clearing sectors right after this. I think we're good on scouting. Yeah, yeah, we'll just uh, jump straight to training. And, um... I guess we will do strength this time. I mean, Fine. maybe that'll pop Meltdown's leadership too. I could pull Red off Militia for it, but I'd rather get that done sooner than later. The Merc training's really just to keep everyone busy while, while we get the Militia stuff done. Okay, well, not much in the way of gains on strength. I should have gone for agility or something else instead, but no big. Let's get back out in the field. Arrived at the location. Double secret stash right next to each other. Nice. The hell you want. Plus a small cliff, sure. which also around. bears investigating. You're the boss. We'll start with the stashes. Check out that cliff. We're moving. We're moving. Hopscotch. That's cute. Ooh, FN Fall. Three by fifteen. That's that's some pretty fantastic damage. Though it does come at the cost of faster condition loss, which means it would require more regular repairs. But I think that would be worth it. It's also pricey. Six AP per shot. We're still not exactly swimming in parts right now. The bipod alone would be 60. A decent scope, 35. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll sit on it for now. Just until I figure out what we're doing with all this stuff. Yes? Let's go. Take a look at this. Hoping for bull. Hot damn! Ain't I AK-47, we'll scrap that. Now the okay. cliff. Oh. All right, all oh. Right. My. Really? Come on, guys. We're moving? We're None moving. of you spotted that before you... What? Fine. It's fine. Yes. Yes, I also noticed that my mercs got seriously wounded. I was there. Thank you. Oh, this is why I hate fighting. Oh! Hey, that hurt! Okay, all right. Um, you know what? It's fine. We'll do. Uh, I'm just going to look at that as an opportunity to Something bump up our medical skills and possibly our health. Presently in attendance. What? Oh, I want you to know. That I sincerely believe you are my best friend. 
Um, Michael here. MD present. Thank you! I feel there is good magic in this bandage. Ready to, um, do stuff. We're moving? We're moving. No skull pops yet, but obviously we're going to treat those once we get back to the Overland map. That's that's another shot at plus medical sure. or plus health. Is around. I mean, look, if we can get like plus three points, I'll say it was worth it. The night vision goggles aren't bad. They are a bit of a trade-off, though, like many things in this game. You're essentially giving up the defense of a helmet in exchange for the utility of night vision. But then again, we don't have a full set of helmets, so it's not much of a trade-off for us right now. Still seriously debating swapping one of those shotguns onto MD, too. Though we should probably wait until we train up his agility. Hmm. Maybe that... Maybe the night vision goggles would be better on Meltdown than MD. Live wire here. Yeah, but okay. uh, again, I guess I can, I can mull that over off screen. No reason to, Look. to agonize over it right now. We're moving. We're moving. All right. We're on our way. Sector's clear. Let's, let's get those wounds patched. That's pretty much everyone in the party, but we might have someone left over for scouting. This task would not be a problem for or me, repairs. And I would be honored to do it. Or not. Uh, okay. That's fine. Red will just chill out for a bit. Sweet Jesus, that's better. Thought I was gonna run out of blood. Health pops on Meltdown and Kalena. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll take it. Moving on. If I say I will be somewhere, then that is where I will be. That's just common courtesy. Well, this doesn't look great. Gotta say, it looked a bit worse in the loading screen. This actually... Damn, you're bossy. Seems a bit tamer than the loading screen implied. Yeah, okay. Got something here. Something to help us on our quest, perhaps? Full set of light armor. We can use that. We'll trash the spares. No reason to cart it around. This stuff's pretty common. You want something? Not a problem. Sure. Boss is around. A little pyramid of AKs. Oh my goodness. We just woke the dragon of. I... Okay, I mean, I will one million percent take it. I feel like this is really a weapon we shouldn't have this early in the game. But I'm definitely taking it. And, you know, if we've got any weapons we're going to burn parts on, I think this has to be it. Right, suppressor, that's a no-brainer. Bipod, also no-brainer. Expanded mag, just the one option. I guess we'll take it. Heavy stock sounds like our better bet for a sniper. And 5x scope, one extra aim level. With the usual familiar options here. I'm thinking Quick Prism. 10x? I don't think we've seen that one before.
basically the same as the 5x, but with further accuracy bonuses for aiming. Which does sound appealing, but... I think we'll stick with the familiar and go Quick Prism instead. With the Quick Prism and proper agility training, we'll eventually be able to pop off two fully aimed shots around, which would not be possible if we went 10x. Though a single 10x shot would be more accurate overall. We also need to fix that thing up. It is not mission ready right now, but we'll get to that in a moment. That actually makes me glad we didn't burn parts on the FN Fall or the M1014. Because uh, then we wouldn't have had parts to immediately fully upgrade the Dragon Off. So bossy. Though it would be nice to get the FN Fall into play. Heading out. I think we want to get that on either oh, no. Mouse or MD. Yeah, okay. Sure, boss us around. Okay. I guess we're going. Fuck. Yes, sir. We're on it. You should probably check this out, right? As you wish. You know, I am amazed that we did not run into any Let's move. hidden mines here. We had a mine on the hopscotch field and none around the giant, explosively destroyed the military boss. convoy. Okay. Yes, sir. We're on it. Sure. As you wish. Call an ass. Let's go. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Let's go take the port, and I think we'll be at a good stopping place. I would like to grab those diamonds, too, but I think that'll have to wait until we secure Port Cacao. Yes, sir. We're on it. Arrived at the location. Oh, wait. Are, are there no hostiles here? I do not know what it is, but we should probably take it just in case we need it. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess there was no enemy icon yeah, on it. You're bossy. I was just really assuming that much like it. an outpost, all of the uncontrolled sure, we'll get there. ports would also be guarded. Um, as you wish. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not going to do an episode let's with go. no combat in it. Let's uh, let's canvas the area. We'll grab okay. everything that's not nailed down, get this place secured, and I guess we'll push Port Cacao. Fine. I hear you are actually paying miners. I mean, with money, uh, not food. Can I work for you? Should we take anything? Oof, that is definitely going to take us over time, but I guess, uh, I guess I can live with that. This is our end of the week video. I can afford to run long every once in a while. Not really a whole lot to see here, though. Yes. Sure. We have anything upstairs? A lot of interesting That's scenery it. along the coastline, just nothing we can really interact with. Let's go, yeah? Yeah, okay. Not much up here either. Alright. Um, we're going, right? Maybe we'll find another bundle of herbs or two, but Call I think this. we're I think we're actually pretty much done here already. Let's go, yeah. I guess we're going. Fuck. Fine. 
No enemies, no notable loot. I hear you are actually paying miners. I mean Nothing interesting from that villager. Oh. Okay, so we can't Huh. That feels like an oversight. Apparently we can't set up militia on this port, even though it is very clearly a, a spot of tactical importance. Livewire still needs rest, so we'll take a moment to fix up that dragon of... Get in some training, I guess. Should just take a moment. I guess we could scout, ping some other locations across the way. Actually, let's hold off on Livewire, because I'm not entirely sure if being a student does count as rest. I thought it did, but it seems to be inconsistent. Actually, I'm not even seeing her rest bar pop up, even with her idol. Outpost attack. Nothing to worry about there. That's our most heavily guarded sector. Okay, Livewire is not resting. I'm not sure why. In theory, she should have been fully rested after 12 hours of just sitting idle. We haven't assigned her any tasks. She's... Uh, Mouse is injured. Let's get that patched. And what's going on here? Diamond shipment. I mean, it's going to take a while for it to get to us, but we're going to be active in this area for the next week or two. That's something to keep an eye on. Oh, right, and then we've still got this, too. Let's see how that plays out. Oh, wow. They actually took out a couple of our guys, including an elite. We'll have to, um, we'll have to do some retraining there when we get the chance, just to shore them back up. All right, Livewire, come on. I guess we can give her a little longer. Okay, you know what? No, she's... It's not even counting down. Clearly there's something going on with her. We'll, um, we'll just finish this round of training and then we'll push across. Once we're in a settlement, we can force her to rest with the R&R &R action. That is frustrating, though. I don't know why that's happening. So yeah, that makes it all the more important we take Port Cacao first. Not only is it a dock, but... As an actual settlement, we can use the R&R &R action to fix that. It does make me wish they'd put in, like, energy drink items or something. So you could temporarily stave off tiredness rather than us having to go into combat with a tired sniper. But it is what it is. We'll make do. Let's do this. Looks like the bulk of them are clustered up here on the docks. Oh man, we've got a ton of named NPCs. Um, okay, so... So the majority are on the docks. That means we can mostly avoid the areas with the named NPCs. Which works fine. We're coming in right here. Vantage point on that rooftop. That's not awful. 
Though, I would be hard-pressed to see how we could get past these guys without triggering a fight. Oh, I suppose if we set up on the rooftop there, we might be able to pick off both of these guys before they can raise an alarm. Then scoot across to the rooftop, get a better sniper position, and then deliberately provoke. Stella wants to make sure I survive this. She sent us a challenge to do. Now, so I'm not sure how to break this to you, but Stella's challenge is that she doesn't mind if you get hurt. I mean, make of that what you will. I'm not a relationship counselor. Okay, they're all moving. So... I guess we'll have to play this one by ear, but on the bright side, we actually do have a Pretty open shot at that vantage point now. Everyone. I will try to remain hidden. Assuming we can skate past that patrol. Um, quietly? Like this? Oh yeah, this should work just fine. Once that patrol passes, we can skate up the stairs, scoot up the ladder, and none should be the wiser. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. Go. I shall not make a noise. Quiet. Oh, this uh, stop. Back up. Style. I really kind of assumed they'd keep going that way, but uh, apparently not. Fair enough. And we do have gaps here. We don't have to use the stairs. I think we can just plan sucks. hop the wall where there's no railing. In fact, that so makes for an even cleaner system. approach on that ladder. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. Yeah, yeah, that, that? that's much easier. Did you get it? Some weird clicking sound. Click, click, just like this. Probably a bird. No. I heard it clicking on the ground. I'm out. We can use this. Hmm. Oh, um, oh guys. Uh, MD. They buddy, spotted what us. are you doing? You know, just a heads up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he just happened to skate into that door by sheer happenstance before they finished. Nope, scratch that. We've been made. Okay, well, at least um, Michael most here. of the squad actually made it up top before MD. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Decided he was too good for ladders. Quiet as a church mouse. Let's get a good angle. See if we can pick this guy off. I'm good at making people ignore me. Good chance at a sneak attack here. Ah! Hmm. Tagged him, but no stealth kill. Keep what they cannot see. Yes. But he also hasn't yes. alerted the other nearby patrols, so we still have a shot here. Mouse here. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Ready. See, the closer guy I'm not worried about at all, because MD can drop him no problem. MD present. It's that guy behind the shipping crates I'm worried about. Maybe MD can drop both of them. Nice, nice. Um, yay! But also kind of not yay? <laughs> yeah, I get that. I'm good at being overlooked. And we are clear. Maybe later. If it's okay with you, that is. Okay, can't chat There's up the NPCs with enemies in town. Speaking of which, we've got one coming around the corner. I shall not make a noise. Let's get a bead before he spots those bodies. This will surprise them. I was better at hiding when I was little. Ah, not fast enough. You have a good shot. But we still have a shot. 
And once again, we're good. All right. Well, look at this little lamb. Hmm? Oh, yes. That brings us down to what? Um, they cannot hit what they cannot see. Eight left. As a church mouse. We've got that patrol roaming back and forth, and then we've got a bunch clustered on the actual docks. So, you know, let's um let's see if we can pick off that patrol when they come by. Yes. Looks like we've got a slowly increasing amount of distance between them as they go back and forth. So if we target the goon, in theory, we might we might be able to drop him while he's outside of the raid leader's detection range. What? Quiet. They cannot hit what they cannot see. I much prefer combat like this. Honestly, nice. I don't understand the point of not Down to seven. To make from cover. Oh. Ooh. Solid hit, but not enough to get the job done. Enemy spotted. And, oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, I was going to say he was moving into a problematic position. Decent chance but then he just immediately peeked his head back out. And we're good. Patrol's out. Six enemies left. When is my 15 minute break? Affirmative. Someone up ahead. We've got clear shots of that sure. brute and scout on the left. Quiet. Let's I line up along the edge here. We'll go for. Kalina here. <sighs> yes? I'm actually not sure if we'll be able to tag any of these guys without the other saying. This should do it. Guess we'll find out. I have the villain in my sights. Ready. And the brute knows something's Hi going there. down, but oh, he is out of firing range. We've got a guy on the left, though. I didn't even notice that. This is no problem. That's an easy target. Hey, nice shot, tits for brains. Lovely. Careful, this mouse bites. And now it becomes an actual fight. Albeit one that is pretty lopsided in our favor. We've already taken out two-thirds of these guys, and we have a fantastic elevated position. Set machine gun. Target the one choke point they have to pass through. Yes. Hmm. Not really much for Red or MD to do up here. Um, Michael here. Got it. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Blanc hmm. Okay, decent start. The other two are now alert. Careful. This mouse bites. Drop the brute. I'm a mime, not a miracle worker. Ready to, um, do stuff. What? Um, Michael here. We should get some guys on the right side of the roof. Prep for incoming. Finish this guy off real quick. Oh, that hurts. My huh? goodness, okay. This should do it. 
There I we truly go. I really believe this is why girls make the best soldiers. Can't believe that took three shots. But we're still fine. Let's see what these guys do. Scouts. Teleporting. Galena here. Though to be fair, we do have a lot of obstructions blocking line of sight down there. You don't think they'd shoot a mine, do you? Come on, Mouse. You can do it. Go for the easy target. Nice. You want something? Hmm? And prep for incoming. Buck. Where's the last one? Okay. Okay. Meltdown here. That scout's obviously making a run for the ladder, so I'm hoping this will catch him, too. The hell you want! Ready to, um, do stuff! Meltdown here! Ready. Going right now. But, you know, just in case he doubles back. In my sight. Hmm. It's making pretty decent use of those awnings. Yes. All right. Slight change of plans. Well, Let's bring Mouse over to the ladder. Ready when you are. She'll hop down once he gets closer and gut him. Okay. Right. I'll keep a lookout. We'll bring a sniper over too. I'm pretty sure we've got a clear shot on that other goon. Not take me this fight. I mean, obviously we're gonna win this. I'm just trying to make sure we don't get so careless that we lose that. Down here. Optional objective. You want something? It's fine if Mouse gets hurt. We just have to be careful with everyone else. MD present. Meltdown here. Oh, not, not entirely sure where he went that time. I got this one. Okay, he's he's right under us. Hey, I think I can do this. Die, please. Galena here. I have the villain in my sights. Thank you. Victory is mine. Which just leaves the scout. And I've got to say, he's actually done a pretty admirable job of avoiding line of sight. Ready to, um... At this point, stuff. he's got himself tucked under that awning, and he's got a pretty clean approach on the ladder. Got it. I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Unfortunately for him... Yes. We've already made contingencies for that. Stressful, but I'll do it. Oh, oh, that hurts. Nice, and job's done. Ready when you are. Not much of a fight, but you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. I'm always happy to have a nice, quick, clean operation. And now we've got our foothold in Port Cacao, too. 
That aside, I mean, we've got two... No, we've got three. We've got three fights right around the corner from our current location. We'll have plenty of old-fashioned gunfights next time around. I mean, heck, that was half the reason I pushed so far, ran so long this episode. Was just to make sure we'd be set up. Mouse here. Not a problem. For some decent action next time around. And you know what? Let's, uh... Okay. Let's chat with a couple of these NPCs. I don't want that to take up the whole episode next time around. Hey, what's this? I need a thumbnail anyway. Sure. We'll get there. Back when I was a coffee bean, guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with me or wet their pants and run. <laughs> wow. I feel seen. And attacked. That's done. Stella's challenges Indeed, are hard, buddy. so this is a big deal. I mean, I'm going to take your word on that, Mouse. Um, you know her better than I do. I still think it's weird that her challenge was basically it's okay for you to get hurt. Didn't get a skill pop for that, but we did get a fair chunk of XP at least. Ready when you are. Dying in bed is for losers. Okay, so not much from Kayla the Cutter here. Let's try. Let's go. Let's try Mad Hannah. What? Not a problem. What? Speak loud enough for fuck's sake. Hmm. Call an ass. Do a check for cheddar is what I always like to say. All right. How about Granny Kohani? Who the f Heck. are you? And what the frag f you want? Don't mind us, just your everyday average soldiers of fortune. Well, I didn't think you were freaking tourists. What the f crap you want, mercenaries? All right, Miss Kohani, was it? I'm gonna need you to take it down like 17 notches. You remind me of my own Babusia. But she does not use profanity like you do. There is no need to be so mean. I'm serious. I got two fists just aching to take the sass right out of your mouth. Well, Jeez. don't take a gun's mouth so serious, sweetheart. I mostly save it for the men. <laughs> I didn't mean the way that sounded. Anyway, it's just the way Breaking. I talk. Please, Miss Kohani. I would very much like to stay monetized. There are objectionable content standards I have to abide by. So, so who who are you? I'm Granny Kohani for Pete. sake. Everyone knows me. Back when I was in the coffee beans gang, mothers used my gosh darn name to scare children who misbehaved. So you're some kind of a boogeyman? Boogie woman. Coffee beans, you say? That sounds like a nice, safe thing to talk about. The toughest Galdern. gang in town. In our day, we hung out at the high bar. Good old Ma Baxter ran it back then. She was slapping if Jack and who wanted to start shit. Things are just better when a woman is in control. Now, she's giving hell only to the devil. And a dumb son is running the bar. So you sell guns? No, I'm keeping them for sentimental reasons. Of course I'm Pass. selling the finally made guns. I am very sentimental about the carbine my Babusia used to teach me how to shoot. I could never sell it. What if all these weapons were a gift from your own Babusia? Would be a hell of a gift. Oh, I'm just freaking teasing. Take a look and see if you can find something you like. Just don't resell anything to the Legion, okay? Fine, fine, yes, I, I will do that. I will do whatever you say, just please. So no business with the Legion, then? Heck! No. No guns for those scurrilous scallywags. They only get bullies from me. For free. If you know what I mean. Are you planning to do something about the nefarious in night operation? Or are you going to let the accursed Legion take over my freaking dogs? Miss Kahani, please. This is going to take seven hours to edit. You're killing me here. You're, 
You're killing me. Uh, and night. Come on. Even the average people on the street know about the Legion's golf Sinister. operation. Those blather skites can't keep a secret, even if their expendable lives depend on it, which happens to be the case. They plan to swarm the place in a few days. See, I even marked the end night date on my calendar. Hey, you got a whole sentence without dropping an f bomb. So, uh, can you help us with this or? To be honest, I'd be happy to see the old gang together again. But, well, let's say we did not part on the best of terms. If I tried to talk to Kyle, Wilma, Kayla, Wuchudi, Old Vinny, or especially Madonna, there would likely be some blood spilled. Perhaps you can convince those Washed up. to help fight off the Legion. If they're interested, tell them to come see me. I promise I won't shoot them. Okay, you went three whole sentences there without dropping any f bombs. You can. I, I got. I gotta go. I gotta go. F uh, uh, goodbye. Oh my goodness! Thank you. I I can't be sure, but that might be something interesting, right? Okay. Uh, what well, there is one more thing. What? Oh, okay, it's gone now, but we did have an option to ask her if she accepted Grand Chien Franks. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Uh, I mean, no harm done, I suppose. I have to assume the answer would have been no. FN Fall. HE Grenades. RPK 74, whatever. We will take those grenades. And my goodness, that was the... I want to say third most harrowing conversation I've had in any of these games that I've ever covered. Um, Polly was definitely worse. Though, uh, though none will ever surpass Kuno. The kid with dialogue so rough that it cancelled an entire series. I mean, look, look, I can deal with profanity in moderation. I I, I dropped the occasional F-bomb, you know, uh, I did Stygian back in the day. That game didn't exactly pull any punches when it yes. came to Come with me, colorful everyone. language, but anyway. So we now know why there's like 40 named NPCs around this town. Apparently we have a quest to get the old gang back together. We're on a mission from God. So I guess, uh, I guess that's something we can take care of next time. Well, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, we're, we're at negative 30 minutes left on the clock right now. So yes, we have to wrap it here. That said, we'll hit Ready. the pause button for now. I'll take what? care of the usual off-screen bookkeeping. I'm going to spend like six hours trying to make sure this thing is approved by YouTube's objectionable content filters. And we'll pick up here next time. Hopefully without ever having to talk to Granny Kohani ever again. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who helped make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant, Eloise, Dragon Matrix 7, Dragon Theory V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goat Leave, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Jemsen, Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Farum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Rowan Church, Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Yay! But also kind of not yay? <laughs> <laughs>